Hey beautiful people, you're welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Praise Douglas and you're welcome to the family. Guys, if you're just seeing this channel for the first time, please, you're welcome. Thank you for look, looking at this video. Thank you for watching it. Please consider subscribing because we give out informative content in this channel. And if you've been my old subscribers, thank you very much. I truly appreciate, okay? So guys, today I'm here again with another interesting information native topic you already know by the you know title of this video today we're going to be talking about the recruitment event that is currently going on in new brunswick yes please i don't want to take much of your time i just want to take you straight into what i have to say guys there's a recruitment event an international recruitment event currently going on right now in new brunswick and please and please please i want you to take part in this okay so i'm going to just um run you through what it's all about and then i'll take you um to the site okay i'm going to take you directly online to show you how to navigate and what is expected of you and how you can actually be a uh, partake in this uh, recruitment event going on okay so please if you want to know all of this kindly uh, consider watching this video to the end okay so guys yeah new brunswick is actually one of the uh, province in canada like you know canada has about 12 provinces and new brunswick happens to be one of of them now new brunswick is actually located is um part of the atlantic immigration program okay i know most people have heard about aip and all of that new brunswick happens to be one of those provinces participating in that pilot program but aside of this okay there are different ways um parts where you can actually migrate to canada uh um those considering going to new brunswick okay they have the express entry pathway they have the um PMP pathway, they have the AIP pathway, they even have the critical pilot program. Yeah, that was actually recently launched. So there are different pathways, okay, you can actually migrate to Canada, especially if you're looking at going to New Brunswick. All of these pathway, they have, you know, different conditions attached to them, different eligibility criteria you have to meet before you can actually, you know, uh, uh apply for this um pilot program i think one of the major criteria is to apply under the pmp program of new brunswick is that you need to have a job offer from a designated employer at least from an employer you need to have a valid job offer or probably you need to have been able to create an express entry profile and be in the pool and indicate that you're interested in immigrating to new brunswick probably you're going to receive a um notification letter of interest to apply for their uh, PMP programs. Yeah, these are part of the whole uh, eligibility requirements you have to go through before you'll be able to, you know, and uh, get a notification uh, letter of interest to apply for their uh, provincial nomination program. But this particular process sometimes is actually very healthy is actually very very competitive because people are actually looking for these same job offers and all of that so sometimes it's a bit difficult to get but the good thing about new brunswick is that they have actually not they have they've been doing this which i don't think most people are aware of there's a event new brunswick actually do regularly yeah i say regularly because each time i actually log on to their site i see this event and i wonder if people really don't know about it so new brunswick has an event they do they call it international recruitment so people who actually attend this international recruitment they do they do it online and they do in-person recruitment okay so sometimes they actually move from country to country and organize an international recruitment uh, activity so what you have to do is you have to register for the international recruitment activity pending the ones that are available okay once you register for it then you could get um uh, you could get an email um, inviting you to participate in the recruitment activity. After you must have finished participating in the recruitment activity, 
mostly what they do in this recruitment activity, different employers and all of that will be around. They talk about New Brunswick as a city. They talk about um, uh, navigating through New Brunswick, talk about uh, jobs in New Brunswick, employers come pitch and all of that. These are things they talk about. Mostly they talk about how to live um, comfortably in New Brunswick working as a foreign national. And also they try to tell you about the requirement and eligibility criterion for you to be able to um, successfully migrate to New Brunswick. So these are what they do basically in this section. So if you complete this section with them, most times you actually get uh, a notification in your um, express entry profile or in your email, depending if you have an express entry profile or not, notifying you that, okay, you've been invited to apply for an ITA. Okay, that's for those who actually attend, all right? And sometimes you get a job offer from employers because you will be actually... Um, allowed to talk to some of these employers you will you know ask questions and you know sell yourself and this is a very good opportunity to actually meet and speak to potential employers so once you've been able to you know navigate through this um uh, recruitment event and all of that, you stand a better chance of receiving an invitation to apply. And once you receive an invitation to apply, it depends on the different, um, different on the parts where you want to apply to. Either you want to apply through the um, PMPs, kids, workers, um, pathway, or you want to apply through the AIPP pathway, or you want to even apply through this critical um, pilot program pathway. It depends on the pathway you want to apply, but it's a very good start. So we Without wasting much of your time, let's go. Uh, let me show you guys how to actually look for this um, recruitment event. Okay, and for those who are in Dubai right now, please, please, if you are in Dubai, this video is specifically. In fact, it's more, 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 more specific. Uh, or it's more more important that you uh, uh, attend this event if you are in Dubai, okay? So let's go right into it. Let me show you how to go about it. So guys, the first thing you're going to do is to go on Google, all right? So you could actually go on Google, okay? Google.com. You click enter and then you go, you do um, uh, New Brunswick, okay? international recruitment okay so it's just going to take you to the site all right immigration and settlement in new brunswick canada right so guys this is it okay so now you can see the different recruitment activity that is ongoing like i say those in dubai those in dublin those in netherlands this they are actually coming in person so it's not going to be like online so you have a better opportunity of getting something especially those in the healthcare sector those in the it sector and those in the trade sector okay now you can see that in this place they have about one two three four different uh, recruitment activities currently going on the first one is new Brunswick virtual recruitment various sectors so it doesn't matter where your location is whether you're in nigeria you're in kenya uganda wherever you are you can actually participate in this one okay the first one because it's online so you just click on it sign up there are different uh stuff they're going to be asking you of the your your name you know personal details and then uh your knock code guys please make sure you know what your knock code is okay so uh you don't apply for uh uh a knock that is not exactly what your description your job duties is all about so guys that is it for this one all right now if you see dublin dublin they're actually coming in to recruit those in the health sector so if you are in Dublin, kindly go through this and then see what you can do about this. Please, 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 if you are in Dublin, try to apply. Most especially if you are in Dubai. If you are in Dubai and you are in the IT sector, you are in the healthcare sector, you are in the trade sector, please ensure you apply. Health sector, nurses, doctors, care workers, support workers, nurse assistants, and wherever that has to do with health especially please try to apply because this event is going to be taking place on the 27th and 29th of march this month guys this month then for dublin is going to be on the 25th of march 2023 for netherlands is going to be on the first and second of april 2023 guys please please i beg you in the name of god 
try to if you're in dubai you're in dublin you're in netherlands that they are actually coming to see you in person in person guys you have a better opportunity of meeting these people please register and wait and always check on your email because once you finish registering they're going to send you an invitation like a message on email to say that okay you've been invited to participate in the recruitment activity you stand a better chance you, you are one step closer of getting into canada if you attend this program that's the truth because i've been able to um help or you know I, I, like you know i was in dubai and i work in the immigration industry so i've been able to have good record of people who have migrated right now to canada through this particular recruitment um activity that was done through uh that was done in new brunswick so i registered those clients and then they were invited to attend the recruitment um recruitment um interview i mean recruitment section after the recruitment section within two weeks of attending they all the the most of them receive letter of invitation okay they receive letter of invitation to apply um for the uh, submit their eoi it's called expression of interest they submitted it and after a while they got a nominee they got um um after submitting their eoi they got an ita which they finally used in submitting uh which they finally submitted and after a while they also got their nomination certificate guys it is very very it is very very easy like you are one step closer in getting to canada if you attend this particular event please if you are in dubai you are in netherlands you're in dublin please make sure you attend this you stand a better chance okay now when you when you are actually uh, signing up for this they're going to be requesting for your details your name your ilts um uh, your ILTS result, your ECA to show that they're going to ask if you've done your ECA and all of that. Please indicate they're going to ask you for your ITA. They're going to ask you for your knock code, which knock you you actually um which knock your job your job description actually fall under. Guys, if you also don't know how to um check your knock and all of that, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to do a quick video on how to know which is your knock which is your knock, which job description or which code fall under your job description and all of that. So you can apply. There is no time. Please make sure you apply this week. If not this week, apply today. Immediately see this video and this stuff is still uh, available. Apply. I'm going to drop the link that is going to take you directly to this place. So you submit your application. Okay. Let me just um, log in and try to sign up. So you see how it looks like. Once you click sign up, okay. I'm signing up under the Dubai section. Um, let's wait for it to come. So once you click sign up, this is it. You just see healthcare and trade Dubai 2023. And then you see they're asking for your name, first name, last name, email address, and then your knock code. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Your knock code. You can also click here to go and check your knock code. These are the knock codes they're actually looking at um, um, employ, um, recruiting. Nurses, licensed practical nurse, psychologists, registered nurse, nurse aides, nurse aides, all the, all the people that fall under nurse aid are care workers nursing assistant you know support workers all of them fall under nurse aid so if you are in this category do not waste time okay so um veterinaries um physiotherapies occupation therapy social workers guys these are this 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 is great please 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 don't waste this opportunity uh computer engineers data scientists cyber security specialists business system specialists info oh my god this is great like this is great guys please for any reason don't waste this opportunity i beg you I beg you, I love people who actually take uh, action. If for any reason, okay, you don't have your, look at it. So they're going to ask you, select your field of work. You select which field you fall under. Is it ICT? Is it healthcare? Is it trade? Select the one you fall under. How many years of recent experience do you have in your selected occupation? You just click it. Do you have a valid Canada uh, Federal Express entry number? 
do you have a valid Canada S uh, Federal Express entry number? So for those who does not have a valid Express entry uh, profile number at the moment, no need to panic. You can put no, but if you have, please click yes. And then if they ask you, do you have a valid IMB profile number? Obviously, most people might not have. So you just click no and blah, blah, blah. That is it. Just follow the um, um, information here and click, click, click. Once you finish clicking, then you um, you do and save and next. Now look at this. Before clicking save and next, please verify all information. You will not be able to return or edit the submitted details. So please be careful in what you are filling before you fill it. Okay. So that is just it, guys. This process is very good. And if you don't have your IELTS ready, you can still uh, click on it, and then you can you um, there's a, a a section where you click that you are working on getting your IA or ILTS results and you can click that you've already you know uh, started the process of writing your ILTS and all of that if you encounter any issue while uh, submitting this you don't have your ILTS or you've not done your works already you've not verified your document just click that you've not verified there'll be provision to click submit application first at least be invited to the recruitment events okay then we can you can start of the process or i used to tell people just be ready so when i mean be ready it means that before now if you have intention of going to canada you should have already started applying for your ilts and you have started applying for your west verification or ICAS verification whichever but please if you've not gotten all of this thing just apply all right there's no harm in trying but please don't waste this opportunity i beg you in the name of god don't waste it okay if you need assistance while doing this let me know i'm very very serious about it let me know i will assist you okay please please share this video especially to those you know who are in this state that these people are coming in person um dubai and um, dublin and netherlands please 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 share this and always keep an eye on this particular site because they always bring this recruitment event on a regular basis. I, I actually talked much, okay, but that's to tell you how serious I want you guys to take this. I really appreciate those who are going to take action. Let me know if you take action, okay? Please, please. Thank you, guys. I hope this video was educative and informative. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.